Thank you for joining with me for the meditation for Lesson 323. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. Go ahead and sit comfortably, close your eyes, take a big deep breath and repeat that as often as you like. I will read the lesson and then we will move into a five minute silent meditation. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. Here is the only sacrifice you ask of your beloved son. You ask him to give up all suffering, all sense of loss and sadness, all anxiety and doubt, and freely let your love come streaming into his awareness, healing him of pain and giving him your own eternal joy. Such is the sacrifice you ask of me, and one I gladly make. The only cost of restoration of your memory to me, the salvation of the world. And as we pay the debt we owe to truth, a debt that is merely the letting go of deceptions and of images we worshipped falsely, Truth returns to us in wholeness and in joy. We are deceived no longer. Love has now returned to our awareness, and we are at peace again, for fear has gone and only love remains. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. We will now move into a five-minute silent meditation. Please use the lesson for the day or a mantra of your choice to help redirect your thoughts as you see others bubble up in your mind. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear.
I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. The term sacrifice is in quotation marks because in truth we give up nothing. We are not giving up something we deem valuable. A behavior, ritual, or an addiction, for example, that we think makes us feel better. For Jesus is asking us to let go of the fear that is the core of all dreams. We let go of it simply by stepping back with him and looking at the thought system of separation that gave rise to this fear and sustains it. Realizing at last that all this makes no sense, we gladly sacrifice it for the truth. The world's salvation is nothing more than the extension of salvation in my mind, of giving up fear for love, illusion for truth. Christianity has taught that our sin against God demands payment to him, a debt paid through sacrifice, suffering, and death. Jesus is once again reminding us that such thinking is upside down and backwards. The only debt to be repaid is to ourselves by letting go of the illusion, which again is nothing. And I will read this from chapter 3, section 1, paragraph 3, 1 through 5. The statement, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, is a misperception by which one assigns his own evil past to God. The evil past has nothing to do with God. He did not create it and does not maintain it. God does not believe in retribution. His mind does not create that way. Thus do we sacrifice the God of vengeance and hate for the God of love. Wholeness has returned to replace separation and truth rises in our awareness as we happily realize that for all this we gave up nothing. I gladly make the sacrifice of fear. Thank you so much for joining with me. I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Have a beautiful day or evening, whatever it may be.